Now some breaking news out of our state capitol. Senators have been debating huge changes to our immigration law all night, and they just voted on the reform bill. CBS Atlanta's Jennifer Merrily was the only reporter in the Senate chamber when that vote came down. Yeah, and Stephanie, the Senate just passed the immigration bill, but in the words of one senator that I heard leaving the floor, he said they gutted it. That's because they took out the meat of the House bill, which would have made private employers use a federal system called E-Verify to make sure that their employees are here legally. Now take a look, protesters took to the steps of the Capitol earlier in the day. They delivered 23,000 signatures asking Governor Nathan Deal to veto the bill if it passed. Many argued this will encourage racial profiling and harm the economy, similar to what happened in Arizona. Senator John Bullock offered an amendment to the bill tonight to the Senate. It was defeated. Here's what he had to say after the vote. I just feel like that, that we're trying to push something through that creates a hardship on small businesses, agriculture, the hospitality industry, that we need a workforce that's available. And unfortunately, we don't have enough domestic uh, workers to fill that hole. And I'm told this bill will now go back to the House tomorrow. Few say they are hopeful that the House will actually accept this version. What does that mean? It means it'll probably go back and forth a few more times before this immigration bill gets to the governor's desk for a signature, if it happens at all this session. Live in downtown Atlanta, Jennifer Merrily, CBS Atlanta News.